In today's video, Dana White talks signing 17-year-old Raul Rosas Jr. to the UFC. Rosas Jr. declares that he will become the youngest UFC champion ever. Cody Garbrandt injured and out of October 1st event. Tony Ferguson gets back to work after UFC 279 loss. Nate Diaz reveals who he would like to face next. Kenny Florian reacts to Jose Aldo's retirement. And Ganu targets big payday fight with John Jones for UFC return. 17-year-old Raul Rosas Jr. became the youngest UFC fighter in history Tuesday night after inking a UFC contract with a win over Mando Gutierrez at the promotion's contender series. Speaking on the DWCS post-fight press conference, Dana White praised Rosas for his impressive performance and said he has no hesitation in giving him a contract with the UFC. This fight was awesome for both of these guys. This was good for both of them. You got a guy who's now 6-0, and uh, Mondo was 7-1 and at the time. And, and what a war, what a technical fight it was. Um, both guys pushed themselves as hard as they could. And for a 17-year-old to conduct himself the way he did in this fight, um, I was blown away by it. Are you worried at how you matchmake him off the top? Because we just... Not off what I just saw. Not off what I just saw. Whatever, after, after what I just saw, this, this kid's ready for, uh, you know, he's, he's ready to, to fight in the UFC. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very impressed with this kid. He's, he's absolutely special. The amount of fighters that were blowing me up, you know, going, oh, my God, this kid's for real. This kid's legit, you know, impressive. Rosas Jr. also spoke to the media and declared that soon he will also break the record as the youngest UFC champion ever. Even though I'm 17, I'm an experienced fighter, you know, and I'm coming for everybody. I don't care who it is, you know. Even if I have to go fight right now, I'll go fight right now. I don't even care. I mean, how quick do you your fighting ranked opponents? I mean, how do you see this journey going? Uh, you know, I'm just ready to fight like every week, every month. I don't even care, you know. I'm all gas, no brakes, you know. Uh, like I said, I'll rest when I'm retired, when I'm old, you know, right now. Uh, we're just getting started, so there's no there's no reason to take a break, you know. And I know it won't be easy, you know. Nothing's easy in this life, you know. But I will become the youngest UFC champion. I don't care what it takes, you know. Nobody's gonna take this away from me. So, like I said, if I can fight a top, uh, a guy from the top five on my UFC debut, I would. But I gotta work my way up there, and I will. And I will be up there soon, you know. I will become a youngest UFC champion when I'm like 19, 20, 21. It doesn't matter. Cody Garbrandt has suffered an injury and will not remain on the October 1st fight night card. Garbrandt was supposed to face Ronnie Yaya on the card, but the Brazilian suffered an injury and a replacement opponent was sought after. On Tuesday, it was revealed by the UFC that Garbrandt also suffered an injury. The plan now is to rebook Garbrandt Yaya for the third time. No Love is coming off the TKO loss to Kai Carl France in his flyweight debut and lost five out of his last six outings. Tony Ferguson gets back to work following his submission loss to Nate Diaz at UFC 279. On Wednesday, Elk Kui posted this training footage to his social media. Since writing out his contract, speculation has surrounded Nate Diaz. What will he do next? Fans and MMA experts alike are making predictions setting a possible trilogy match with the former UFC champion Conor McGregor or perhaps a boxing match with Jake Paul. Well, apparently Diaz has something else in mind. Taking to Twitter, Diaz said, I'm only going to fight The Rock, otherwise I'm good. Diaz has history with The Rock. Back in 2019, he said this about Dwayne Johnson. On that side, f him. I'm on the West Coast side. Mike Tyson should have been here anyway. He's the baddest man on the planet, right? He should have been the one. He should have been the one over here. Uh, I'm over here on The Rock, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you guys caught me under under a bad bad time, but you know what I'm saying? The Rock's cool. I like ballers. I like ballers. You know what I'm saying? But he picked the wrong side. He picked another side so he could get it too. He could get his ass whipped too. Straight up. 
with all due respect, he could get it too. What do you guys make of Nate Diaz calling out The Rock? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Kenny Florian, who fought and lost to Jose Aldo back in 2011, has reacted to his old rival's retirement. In an interview on SiriusXM, Florian said that Aldo mentally is not the same fighter as he used to be, and his performance against Marab Vajvili showed that his fighting skills are deteriorating. For Jose, I think we saw a little bit of a deterioration in his skills. I felt like I was still getting better as a fighter, but physically I, I was deteriorating. My mm -hmm. back was just getting worse, you know, just had lingering physical issues. Physically, he seems like he's pretty good from what I've seen. I mean, the way he's performing physically, he seems good. I just think, I don't know if he's second-guessing himself a little bit. You know, in the Marab fight, and there's a, a variety of factors, right? I'm just kind of, you know, speculating here at this point. But it seemed like he was just doubting himself a little bit too much, wasn't letting his hands go, wasn't very active. And I don't think we would see that in a prime Jose Aldo. And the reality is also is that, you know, age is going to get us all. Age is going to get us all, and the <laughs> fight game is going to get us all. You can only fight for so long without the game taking something from you. And he's had a lot of fights, a lot of five-rounders, a lot of wars, and eventually it doesn't matter who you are, how good you are, it's going to take a piece from you for sure. Francis Ngannou targets big payday fight with John Jones for UFC return. In an interview on SiriusXM, he said, As my preferred opponent, it would be John Jones, obviously. That's what I've always wanted. I need that big payday. Also, this has to be a big statement. Fighting John Jones is more than a payday. It's a big challenge. The guy has been dominating the sport for over a decade, so I think he's a very good guy. Despite his hopes of fighting Jones next year, Ngannou is yet to sign a new UFC contract and will be free to leave the promotion in December. He continued with, My contract status right now is still the same. I haven't received any offers. It's the same. I hope that in the next two to three months, we get to deal with that to solve that. It's not surprising to me. I think we're not in a rush. I'm not in a rush either. I'm not going anywhere, so I'm not rushing. At the end of the day, we have time. Here are the top three funniest memes we found over the internet. Third place was found over Twitter and was posted by a user named Judo Chad. Second place was found over Facebook and was posted by a user named Stand em Up. And our top pick was also found over Twitter and was posted by a user named Dovi. Every day, we search the internet for the funniest MMA memes and post them to our fan page on Facebook called MMAMemes.com. If you want your meme to be included in our next video, just send it to us in private message on Facebook. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.